trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Better give a treat that's good to eat if you want to keep life serene. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat. The whole night through, little scalawags with beanie cats can make it tough on you. So when ghosts and goblins by the door ring the bell on your front door, better not be stingy or your nightmares will come true. Oil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble, eye of needle, tongue of shoe, hand of clock that points at two. This is the real thing, isn't it? Right out of Shakespeare. Neck of buckle, tail of coat, whiskers from the billy goat. Rip the Oh, 
than it does you. Now take a longer start. About a mile or two. Get ready, kids. Here we go. It was a mighty gorgeous sunset, it was truly a beautiful sight, all the friendly small housetops of Whoville glowing bright in the changing light. All the Who's who lived here in Whoville paused and smiled as the sun sank down and the purple shadow of Mount Crumpet crept across the farmlands beyond the town. It was a mighty peaceful sunset, until old Josiah happened to sniff. And he whispered to his wife, Mariah, will you also take a whiff? And Josiah and Mariah double sniffed. 
And they said, I wonder if... But they really didn't wonder. They knew it was terribly true. They knew that the sour, sweet wind was coming back. And what the sour, sweet wind would do. Inside, children. I suggest we stay indoors tonight. I suggest we lock ourselves in tight. Tonight, you know, won't go quite right. You can tell by the smell of the wind. It sounds like another one's coming. Another Grinch night might commence. I wouldn't go out on a night like this for a dollar and fifty cents. starts when that sour sweet wind begins a howling. Sour sweet wind across the tree stumps on the wrong side of Punker's Pond. Then that wind wakes up the green grumps from their sleep inside the tree stumps and all the green grumps start a growling. And that growling and that howling runkles and grunkles up the pond. And that's why I'm suggesting for you ladies, kids and gents, I wouldn't go out on a night like this for two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> Cause when old Punker's Pond gets runkled, runkled by that howling and that growling, that always disturbs the hack and cracks. And the hack and cracks start a yowling. And the yowling of the hack and cracks, plus that runkling, runkling, howling, growling, always irritates the bitch. Then that witch starts in a brawling. So I suggest we stay indoors tonight. Our problems are immense. I wouldn't go out on Grinch nights for six dollars and sixty cents. Mmm, it's a wonderful night for eyebrows. Max? Now, oh, where is he? Max! It's a wonderful night for eyebrows. It's a wonderful night for teeth. It's a wonderful night for Grinch night. Their troubles will now commence. Oh, I wouldn't stay home on a night like this for $60.60. Bring the paraphernalia wagon. over the land. And in the home of Josiah and his good wife, Moriah, they just stood there, and no one could speak. Until finally, Eucariah said, Grandpa Josiah? And Grandpa Josiah said, Yes, Eucariah? And Eucariah said, Grandpa, we've stood and we've stood, and stooding just stooding produces no good. The least we could do is find out without doubt whether or not the Grinch is coming out. And so I suggest we don't stood here like sticks. Call the Grinch Alarm Center. Dial area code 519006. Excellent suggestion, Eucariah. Area code 519006. 
Mine's busy. Very busy. Ah, here he is. This is not a recording. This is me in person. Your Grinch alarm warden, Sergeant Samuel S. McPherson. It is my duty to inform you if conditions improve or if they worsen. I have infiltrated his territory, keeping sharp eyes upon this schnook. And I'm focusing my focusella to take still another look. Conditions are worsened. Hurry up, Max. I'm raring to go. I'm going to be the guest of honor, an exclusive bridge I call. Gonna be the only dancer in the Whovale Town Hall. I might enter the ball quite small, or I might go in quite tall. But I assure you, nobody, but nobody is gonna dance with me at all when I enter front and center that exclusive green slide ball. Ha ha! Ready? Get up, Maxie! Ha 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 Attention, attention all who's. This is Sergeant McPherson, and conditions, I'm afraid, are now worser than worsened. How many times have I said and said? How many times have I said in my head? What am I doing here? Why am I the slave of this grinchy old frock? And I say how I wish I could turn back the clock And have the fine future I had once before And again be an innocent puppy once more In your puppy house, Betty, with sweet Auntie Woofy Wafoon Feeding you hominy grits with a big silver spoon? What am I doing? Doesn't matter much how, but my dear old Auntie Wolfie, wouldn't I fear very much care for me now? As you can see by the lights flashing on this index, that's the Zinheimer Disaster and Devastation Rate of Spread Calculating Index, I am recording the intensities and immensities of the Grinch's current antisocial activities. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, the Grinch is working up quite a score. And unless I am misreading, I think it's going to soar up even more. You know something, Grandpa Josiah? Do I know what, Eucariah? You know, sir, this looks a lot better without my glasses. You put your glasses back on and face the facts, Eucariah. As the Grinch creeps ever closer to your little front yard gates, He's engaged in green, she practices that every who abominates. He defoliates, depreciates, deflating all the things he hates, and frequently expectorates. Oh, oh, he acts, he activates, he castigates, he blastigates. And while all of Whoville sits and waits, the fates that it anticipates, his wagon wheel obliterates and decimates and platinates and thousand little flowers. I missed one. Got it. <laughs> you know something, Grandpa Josiah? Shh, shh. You pariah. Oh my gosh, look what he's doing now. He's hunting down the Wuzzy Wuzu. The Wuzu at least should have immunity. He's the only one left in our community. Brickles in the bridges. 
Phew, that was a mighty tight pinch, but the Wazzy Wuzu has eluded the Grinch. He's safe inside a brickle bush. You know something, Grandpa Josiah? Do I know what, Eucariah? I gotta go to the euphemism. The euphemism? No one goes to the euphemism on a night like this. But I gotta. Eucariah, don't be long. I suggest we stay indoors tonight. Our problems are immense. I wouldn't go out on a night like this for sixty-six million six hundred thousand dollars and an extra sixty-six cents. Who, sir? You're a rather small who, aren't you? Well, I do the best I can, sir. Are you really the Grinch? Am I the Grinch? Sorry, sir. I have a slight astigmatism. An optical condition in which parallel rays of light from an external source converge or diverge unequally in different meridians. You know, sir, I like you much better with my glasses off. You put your glasses back on and face the facts. Am I the Grinch? <laughs> I'll show him. Tusk. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the Grinch? Out of my way, small who. I got bigger things to do than to waste my time with you on Grinch night. Achtung! Get it up, Maxie! Next stop, Whoville! <laughs> so with the sweet, sour wind still a-howlin', now the Grinch was really prowlin', and Eucariah watched him go a-clonkerin', skonkerin', skonkerpunkerin' toward the helpless town below. And he thought about Josiah, Mariah, Obadiah, and Matthiah. He would have to save them somehow. He would have to save the town. He would simply somehow have to stop that Grinch from getting down. And suddenly Eucariah knew precisely what he had to do. Stall for time. And what does 
a rather small who want this time. W will, will you please scare me some more, sir? I, I, I sort of like it. Look, kid, I gave you the $2 treatment. You're not worth a first-class Grinching. Am I the Grinch? <laughs> You asked for it. Quit fumbling with your glasses. Put those glasses on and get up here. Y yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Closer, you Uriah. That's a nice little hole. Now closer. Closer, closer. And Ukariah with a courage he had never known till then. Ukariah who, with a courage beyond the courage of most men, with the sour sweet wind a howl and stood before the gruesome Grinch and said, To your words, bring on your spooks. Shoot the worms, I will not flinch. <laughs>
why. Well, sir, as I knew it would, sir, the sour sweet wind is dying down. No wind ever blows forever. So why? Well, sir, according to all available statistics, when the sour sweet wind stops howling, that always stops the Gree Grumps growling. No, I know, I know. And when the Gree Grumps stop their growling, Punker's Pond stops runkling, runkling. And when Punker's Pond stops runkling, runkling, that always stops the hacking cracks from yelling. Hmm. And when the hacking cracks stop yelling, you know what that stops. Mm. That always stops the Grinch from prowling. Hmm. Well, I'll be Grinched. Well, I'll be Grinched. Come on, Max. Come on, Max. Turn this wagon around. <laughs> Sergeant McPherson reporting to you once more in person. And I can report that I never have thought that I'd ever report a report of this sort. I'm sure gonna miss that Grinch night ball, but that wind will be coming back someday. I'll be coming back someday. <laughs> Look, Mariah, there's Eucariah! What an unusual way to come back from the euphemism! The past hill saw sweet wind has blown away All the Greek of ground and scrawled itself away Gone is the Grinch, up the mountain far 